Does anyone want to go first? Anything interesting? I do have a question, though. What's your question? Is the, is the mom in an abusive relationship? Because everything, like, he does kind of hints that. Like, going to the bank with her to make sure she gets the money. Like, all that stuff. He's kind of a jerk. And he kind of, like, manipulates her into thinking that she loves him. Are you at the part where he got drunk again? And then he, like, started beating her. And then she was like, I love you. And he was like, you love me. Out the window. Oh, And she still stayed. And, like, threw her out the window. Right. I think she tried to kill herself also i think the dad is cheating on her yeah that's what i got yeah i read that the like, oh he's definitely cheating on her because he went to the bedroom with some girl mm-hmm. and brought his son with him yeah that's so messed up and he like, like well and he like let his son talk to the girl and everything that's so messed up have you gotten to the part about billy yet Mm-hmm. oh my god have you, Trinity? Um, I don't, I don't think I've read. I think you have, actually. Billy is the uh-huh. little boy who, like, kissed her, and she's like, it didn't count because my eyes were open. Oh, yeah, I know that part, yeah. He, like, sexually assaulted her, so that was, I didn't like that part. Like, the ring. I felt like I was reading child porn. I didn't like it, like, at all. It was really weird. And then he threw the ring at her. Oh, yeah. And then they started shooting at each other. That was crazy, too. And then the cops just didn't want to believe the kids. That it was self-defense. The only one who seems to still love the dad is Jeanette. Everyone else seems to, like, under, like, know how crazy he is. I think it's, like, a whole daddy-little-girl situation, because she's She's the second, she's the youngest little girl besides the baby. Yeah. And she's the only one that believes the father with like the prospector and the demons and all that stuff. Everyone else seems to like catch on to how bad of a person he actually is, including Brian, who is the youngest. Well, the youngest who can actually talk and think for himself. Mm -hmm. Isn't he like seven, six? Yeah, he's pretty young. Oh, yeah, I also thought it was messed up when Jeanette's mom didn't even tell her that their grandmother died. I, thought that I wasn't was- there yet. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, you were. Was I? I just didn't that's read it. Like, that's on page 91. Oh, yeah, I did read that. Never mind. Yeah. And then, like, Jeanette had a whole freak, like, meltdown about it. I really don't like the mom. The mom is super childish. Like, I I don't like either of the parents. Because when their mom got a job as a teacher, she, like, Mm -hmm. couldn't do anything for herself. Like, the kids... The kids were doing her lesson stuff for her. Yeah. And there were parts where she was like, I don't understand why I have to do anything. I'm a grown adult. I shouldn't have to do anything. I was like, yeah, that's a little. So she's just extremely childish. And I don't mm-hmm. genuinely don't like her. I don't like either of the parents. They're awful. They're really bad at parenting. Uh-huh. There's sometimes I feel like the dad is okay. Except the fact that he's an abusive drunk. But. It says here that the kids got phone and bi- got phones and bikes, but I didn't see in either of those pop up later in the story. Did you? Mm-hmm. Like that was it. They just said that the kids got phone and bikes, and then they didn't do anything with either of those besides ride the bikes once.
do they stay in Battle Mountain or they get up and move again? Because I think move again. They from they went from Battle Mountain to the grandmother's house in Arizona in Phoenix, and then they moved to um, their da- um, the dad's parents' house. So they're yeah, that's the part you're at. Trinity, are you okay with spoilers? It don't matter to me. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the pedophiles in the neighborhood real quick. You're about really? to, you're about to get there, Trinity. Like you're you're really close to getting there. Oh yeah, do you not read that part? That was pay. I'm not warning friends calling me. That was like make me stay up all night and read. <laughs> that was page 102 to 103. They like when they moved to Phoenix, there were a bunch of like pedophiles in the neighborhood, and they would always leave their door open because they don't have air conditioning. They would leave their door and windows open at night because they don't have air conditioning. And then one of the pedophiles snuck into the house and was like groping Jeanette. And she, yeah, it was, yeah, again, child porn. I was That's just not, horrible. Yeah, it was horrible. So she woke up and then beat the crap out of him and started Brian and they chased him out of the house. I don't, I don't think the parents did anything, though, which kind of made me angry. They were just kind of like, yeah, get them. And there was another part. The dad literally snuck the kids into a cheetah cage at the zoo. What? Yeah. I thought that was that was probably the craziest thing that I've seen him do. Like, they snuck into the cheetah, like, inside the cheetah cage, and they were petting the cheetah. They were petting the cheetah. It was all, oh my god, I hated it being that part. So much adrenaline was just flowing through my body when I was reading that part. Because of how terrified I was for the kids. And the mom is teaching the kids that shoplifting is okay. Wow. In God's name, too. She was like, oh, it's okay. The Lord understands. Yeah. <laughs> So, again, don't think they're good parents at all. They're not good parents whatsoever. And and the dad, it was, like, around Christmas time, and everyone in the family is religious except the dad. He's, like, straight-up atheist. Like, he doesn't believe. Like, he gets angry at people who believe in God and all this kind of stuff. So, it was around Christmas time, and they had a Christmas tree, and he burnt the Christmas tree. Like, that's not religious, though. I don't get that part. How Christmas trees are religious. Christmas is, like, you know, Christmas is, like, when God, like, the day Jesus was supposedly born. The Christmas tree is, like, because, like, because I'm, I'm Methodist, so I know the whole story of, like, Jesus and all that. I don't know why he would burn down a Christmas tree, because plenty of my friends are atheists, and they have Christmas trees still. So. He just, like, hates literally anything that has to do with religion. So he wanted to ruin the, the Christian holiday for his family because he was atheist and they weren't. So that, that was, so, like, the, the Christmas tree itself doesn't symbolize, like, God or anything like that or Jesus in any way. It's just, like, a little fancy decoration. But when does this happen? This happens... And pay on page one fifteen. He literally okay. he says in quote, "Let's really light this Christmas up." He says that as he as he burns the Christmas tree. Oh my gosh! Yeah, he's insane. I think he was drunk at that time. If I read that correctly. I kind of want to know, like, because we see her mom as a homeless person in the beginning of the story. I'm wondering if her dad, like, what happened to her dad now that we're reading this? At the beginning of the story? 
Like we like we see the mom digging through the dumpster and she barely mentions the father when they go out to lunch. She's like, You and my your dad and I are fine. He's probably he's probably just at the house at that time. That's what I'm assuming. I'm not sure if anything happens to him. Maybe he got crazier. I don't know. Because of, you know, old age. Mm-hmm. But the weird thing is, he's actually like a genius. But he's insane at the same time. That's such a weird mixture. He can really like point out all the constellations in the star and teach you rocket science. But he doesn't understand basic human stuff, like, at all. I don't, I, the, the dad confuses me. I, I don't know what to think of him. He's just bipolar. That's what I think. I think he's bipolar. And at one point in the story, Jenna asked him to stop drinking for her birthday present. Mm-hmm. And um. so what he did was... He tied himself down on a chair to prevent him from drinking alcohol at all for several days. I don't think he ate or drank anything either, like, for those couple of days. Which is weird. That is weird. And he made, like, the kids really worried about him, too. Well, not the kids, but Jeanette. Jeanette would, like, sit outside his door with a water bottle every single day, all day long, to make sure that he was okay. So he just, like, put himself through a lot of pain, only to stress Jeanette out. Mm-hmm. Which, again, not very good parenting. Mm-hmm. And then he broke his promise and got drunk again, even after all that. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that you guys thought was jacked up or weird? My thing was, so we got to the part where they had that huge fight and all the neighbors were outside. If the the neighbors were concerned about the parents, why didn't they call CPS for the kids? I don't know. Or why didn't the grandparents? They knew that the parents weren't stable. That's true. Well, the father wasn't. Yeah, they really didn't like the they didn't they really didn't like the daddy like at all. So I don't understand why they didn't do that either. I know I would have if my daughter rent, married some weirdo who abuses her and his kids. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's weird about the entire story that just no one calls DCS on them. Yeah, I was wondering that, too. Was yeah. DCS even a thing at this time, actually? Do we know what year it was when she was a kid? I think, I think this was the 1950s. All right, hold on. Well, like, I knew it was okay, like, spank your kids back then, but, like, yeah, stuff that went through was kind of... Yeah, the stuff they went through was awful Mm. uh actually came out um in 19 oh in 1690 is when the first child abuse case went to court so they kind of like formed then so i'm guessing that's right but that's according to wikipedia so don't quote me on that that's really early because I didn't think anybody cared about kids at all in the 1600s. Well, like they cared, but like you spank your kid in public. Like when we were kids, our parents would spank us in public and they're like. Yeah. I think it was actually socially acceptable to just like beat your child in the 1600s because everyone in the 1600s was just like an asshole and crazy. So I think mm-hmm. it was really exciting. That's so weird. I, I was not expecting it to be that early at all. I could maybe see the 1800s. Mm-hmm. 
But even then, I can definitely see the 1900s, though. Yeah, That's... definitely the 1900s. The even the 1800s is still iffy. And even then, it's like eight late 1800s is what I'm thinking. That's the big. That's my big question throughout this book. Is why doesn't anybody call? Maybe they did call, but they just like keep running away. It's just one of the. It's just like another thing that they just keep running away from. One thing that I get confused on is they since they move around so much and they've they've made they've made some pretty good money at least two of the times that they ran around that they were running around like away from mm-hmm. people. So I was kind of surprised that the mafia or the FBI didn't hasn't like tracked them down already because it seems like something- are they actually tracking them down? I don't know. Or is it just in the dad's head? It might be in the dad's head. Because you said bipolar, and bipolar can cause you to like think some crazy okay. stuff. So maybe he's just like thinking. The, I know the the mafia, mafia. Is for him though because he like straight up robs the casino every time he goes there. So I'm so I don't know about the FBI, but definitely the mafia. So that's just that's like the main question I have throughout the entire thing because unless they keep changing their names over and over and over again, mm-hmm. I don't know why the mafia hasn't like found them yet or anyone that is actually coming after them has found them yet. Mm-hmm. So I genuinely don't know. Trinity, would you like to add on anything? Add anything on? Um, I think like the only two questions I like really had were about like the housing situations because I just kept moving and I was just kind of confused on like where it was taking place because they're just it was all over the place and then the like DCS or CPS whatever it is that part where they like haven't gotten called and all that those yeah. are like the only like mainly two questions like I had in the beginning of the book did you ever notice like they moved around like like every two weeks they were in a different place yeah. every two weeks but then they finally settled down in Battle Mountain which yeah. I lived in Nevada there's not much in Battle Mountain nothing <laughs> maybe that's why they settled in battle mountain because there's literally <laughs> nothing there and then they they stayed in phoenix for a while too and i don't yeah they for the past two the past two places that they stayed at they like actually stayed there for a good while i don't know exactly how long they stayed in phoenix but i know it was a, i know it was a while maybe a couple months maybe even a little like one or two months even but yeah I think that's all we need to do I think we talked about everything unless anyone wants to add anything else no okay I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording then